you record video on iPhone, you probably at some point have run into the issue where the video turned out to be vertical instead of horizontal, when you meant it to be horizontal. So let's look at some simple ways to fix that issue. So first tap edit in the top right corner. Then you will see an icon with a circle and three dots. Just tap that and it will pop up with an icon of iMovie. So tap that. And iMovie will open with your clip selected. Now with two fingers, rotate the image until you see a half circle arrow. Your video is now rotated and you can tap done. The video will export and replace your current file. Notice too that the location and the timestamp from the original file is kept. Now if for some reason you want to revert back to the original, you can do that as well. Just tap uh, edit again, and then tap revert at the bottom. So the second method of doing this is to transfer the clip to your computer and then use QuickTime to rotate it. So with your clip open, go to edit, then rotate left. And now you will notice that the file is showing up as untitled, so it's not saved. So what you have to do is to go file, and then export as and then we'll in this case we're going to choose 4k because this is a, a 4k video the original video was recorded in hevc format which stands for high efficiency video coding so we want to use the same format for this file that we're saving here so we just check for use hevc and the new file will be exported which means that it's being re-encoded as well so let's compare our two exported files now with our original. So first of all, you see that the original has some GPS data, and we're not seeing that in the exported files. So that's been removed, unfortunately. The second thing is the format. In the original, it was using HEVC format, and we were able to use the same format for QuickTime when we exported. And in iMovie, we did not have the option to save as HEVC, so that was saved as H.264, which is an older format. So that's unfortunate. The frame rate on the original video is at 29.97 frames per second. In both of our converted files, that is changed to 30 frames per second. Not really a big deal, but it's just, uh, just something to notice. The data size and the data rate are closely linked. So the higher the data rate, the higher the data size will also be. In our original file, the data rate was 22.49 megabit per second. In the file that was converted in QuickTime, that is lower. It's now down to 18.83 megabit per second. So the file size is smaller, but we also lost some quality because of it. In the file that was converted in iMovie, the file size is bigger. It's uh, 48 megabytes versus 43 in the original. And the data rate is also higher. It's 25. But this is H.264 codec that is used. So the quality is uh, actually less than the original because of that, even though the data rate is higher and the data size is higher. If you want to rotate your video and have full control over the export settings, then I recommend using DaVinci Resolve. And you can go into the App Store and find that. It's, it's a free program and it's a high-end video editing program that is used for uh, movies and uh, video production. There's also a paid version, DaVinci Resolve Studio, with even more features. So we'll create a new project. And the first time you use this program, you need to go into Preferences. And then you will see the option Media Storage. Then click add under that, and then you'll add your hard drive. That way you can find your files on your computer. Next, go file, project settings. We will change a few things here. We'll change the timeline resolution to 4K resolution. and we'll change the timeline frame rate to 30 frames per second. And then click Save. So you can either browse or drag and drop your clip. At the bottom, click Edit, and then drag your video clip into the timeline. 
right click on your video clip and then choose clip attributes and you'll see the option image orientation which shows the current image orientation so in this case we want to set that to zero degrees instead of 90 degrees right which is the vertical format that was set by the phone and then click OK. We are now ready to export the clip so at the bottom right click on the button deliver. We'll enter a file name. Further down you'll see export video. Uh, we will change the codec from H.264 to H.265 which is actually uh, the same as HVEC and the resolution is uh, set to 4K and the frame rate is set to 30. So those two are okay. So we don't need to change anything there. We want the quality to be the same as the original. So under the quality option, instead of using automatic, we're gonna change that to restrict to, and then we'll change that to number to uh, 22,500 kilobits per second. And that's the same as the 22.5 megabits per second, which that uh, the original video was using. Under audio, we want to make sure that the codec AAC is used. We're now ready to export, so we'll click the button Add to Render Queue, and then we'll click the button on the right side, Start Render. And here we have the exported result, which is very close to our original. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe.